Hey YouTube, this is uh, Lazy Hollow Dad <laughs> taking another update. Um, been working on my uh, pig, pig pen food forest and, and doing some work and this is about the same angle I started last time. Um, we've done some clearing. We got all of these panels out. It's been about a month I guess since my last update and it's changed a little bit. So we're ripping things out. We haven't really started planting yet. I'm hoping to plant a few things today. Um, I'm more or less putting the bones in. So we're clearing out areas. I got some uh, tree service wood chips drop, which was a blessing as uh, Lakeland Electric came through. So I kind of knocked on their door and said, hey, over here. And so uh, they gave me a bunch, not, not enough. I would have taken three or four times that much, but I, I got a good start. So we started making driveways, um, set up a few future beds. That's way too uh, raw to plant into right now. But we're just kind of defining beds. So there's like a big, crescent moon shaped thing going on here there's a little thing over here and then we're going to go down the fence and and that's kind of how my designs evolve so I if I'm doing it for somebody else I'm going to do it on paper and measure and all that stuff but it's for me and this is very much for me um I kind of walk and and feel what makes sense and um what's my access look like where's my water coming from what's the light going to be um in this case I'm facing due west um and so we couldn't even see through it a few feet the last time it's most of the way clear i still got to get all of this stuff done i was able to find some help so um, i put an ad out on my permaculture group and said i need uh, somebody a few days a week kind of thing to help out and i got three guys all three younger than me and all three ready to work and um, they all came out one day for about three hours um, and man did they help so we got all those uh fence panels out of here and pose. There's still a few more left that we got to dig out, but they really helped me get a, a go. So um, general premise is the, the, what I'm walking on right now is like my tractor access. And so I wanted to make sure that I have access to kind of every corner. So there's to the west and then this is to the south. And then as we come over to the east side, I've got a lot of tree cover over there. So they're not gonna get a whole lot of light Oh, in the, in the morning, right? But I still wanted to have tractor access so I can get through it with mulch ways. And I kind of connect the main drive. So either utility vehicle, tractor, that kind of thing. And so then as you do that, and you start defining the, the main bones of the path, and then you start kind of thinking through some of your larger areas. So like in this case, there's a little nub right there. But at some point, it's going to go all the way through, kind of through in there. But there's still some panels over here that I got to pull out. So I can get through there and then there's this snag of a tree right there that drops some limbs every once in a while it's almost out of limbs so I just don't spend a lot of time under here on the tractor um, but as I was saying they get this big area here so this is a huge planting area you know all of this and there'll be a drive right next to it right so it makes this big area well it you know goes to the other side too so it's not manageable for harvesting and planting and stuff. So I start dicing that up, right? So I start with the big areas and um, you design from patterns to details. So big areas, how do I get in and generally get in the vicinity of every planting area with the tractor to help me out since it's just me. And then once I've got that, then I start doing footpaths, right? And so in this case, I'm kind of swinging around a little bit too much, I apologize. But in this case, I'm gonna do like a little footpath right through here and back out there's a gate over there right and that gate i'll have another footpath going around the back side and connecting back to the main and that way it's kind of a stroll i kind of like designs see this is where i ran out of wood chips um i like the designs that you know kind of lead you into the next space and i'm not doing it for massive um, production i'm doing it for uh, you know just a good place to be and a lot of food you know we, we, we already produce quite a bit of our own food um and we want to keep doing that and the fruit sections as we go through see i need a lot of wood chips um, there's another gate over here too that goes into kind of our utility area in the woods um, but anyway the trees um, there's a lot of food that we won't have to do much to get and so all year long we get some fruit uh, we want to make sure we always have fruit or uh, some of the perennial greens and vegetables and i'll even plant pumpkins and i'll do some annual stuff in here too but that's where we're at i'll try uh Try to not make it a whole month the next time, but uh, making progress and hopefully I'll have a few things planted the next time I come around. So get out there, get planting.